Okay, money might not grow on trees, but medicine surely does. And health is wealth, so let me tell you about this one. In Australia, in the bush, in the rainforest here where it grows, we call it blue condom. But in India, they call it rudraksha, and they make their prayer beads out of it, right? In Ayurveda, they found that they use it for a staggering array of pitta or heat inflammatory disorders. It's used for liver problems, it's used for cardiovascular problems, it lowers blood pressure, it's used for painful joints, it's used for chronic skin complaints. But what it does for the body is actually second to what it does for the mind and the spirit, right? So when the berry dries off, then you've got these seeds inside, which is where the most potent medicine exists, right? And inside that seed are these indole alkaloids, which are said to enhance consciousness itself, to polish the spirit and allow us to better perceive the divine around us in everyday life, right? That's why the Himalayan yogis always had it, always consumed it and always wore it, right? Medicine from the trees, medicine from the earth. And as they keep falling around me here, I have to say, medicine from heaven. Give it a try.